Hi and welcome to another Quick Fix Repair video. Today I have a Visio M55 E0 uh, model and the TV is completely dead. Um, I don't have any standby light, I don't have any display, nothing. So um, I'm going to try and do a fix on this TV. So there are a bunch of screws here, they are clearly marked. So basically you just have to take all those screws off. Okay, with the screws removed, um, you can take out the stand. Okay, take off the stands. And then I believe the back just, come, just comes off. Usually there is a connection. There is a connection. Usually for the Visio TV, there is a standby connector. Okay, so yeah, you see this wire here. Okay. So with the TV plugged in, before I just go ahead and start ordering a power supply, a power board or a motherboard, I just need to do a bit of test. Now usually what I like to do is I plug it in for a while and then I just check the heat sink, the heat sink of the motherboard. And um, okay, it's not warm, but um, I have to give it some time. But then I'm going to do some tests here quickly just to see if the motherboard, sorry, the power board is working. Okay, so I'm just going to test. Now this is the connector to the motherboard and there is some um, voltage markings here. We have um, 18 volts, okay, for the pins 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So I'm just going to check that to see if I have those voltage. Now the thing is that um, this, if the TV is completely off, then you may not get that voltage. So you would have to check for standby, okay, a 3 volt standby. But you see, I'm getting 18 volts, okay. Let's see, I'm getting an 18 volts here as well, okay. So again, clearly, um, com Depending on how the TV um, was switched off, okay, the TV might still be receiving the full power. So I'm getting 18 volts, or you could test for a 3 volts. Okay, I'm getting 18 volts here. 18 volts. 18 volts. 18 volts. So power supply is good. Okay, the power supply is good. I'm going to test the T-con board. See if there is any voltage. Okay. There's a V in here. V in is also zero. So no voltage. So there are indications the motherboard is um, faulty, but just to do another check, um, I'm going to heat up the um, the processor um, at 380 degrees um, using a heat gun uh, for a couple of minutes, about two or three minutes, and um, um, by powering it up, I should get a standby uh, light. So yeah, as you see, there is a standby light um, that goes off. Initially, the TV was completely dead, but by heating the, uh, the processor, um, now, once it is powered, a standby light comes on for a while and then uh, goes off. Okay, so, Clearly, we have an issue with the motherboard, um, so we would have to replace uh, the motherboard. So I'm going to disconnect all uh, the connections or the connectors and uh, remove the screws. And uh, a bit of force is needed here uh, because there is a sticky pad um, that is held onto the chassis 
now I'm going to order um, by the serial number um, and make sure you order by the serial number and not the model of the TV because there are different uh, motherboards out there for the same model so now that I have the motherboard I'm just going to transfer um, the metal plates uh, for the inputs and uh, make sure that I align the heat pad um, to fit right under the processor it is a bit tricky um, if you're trying to use the the old one because sometimes it will lose its sticky nature okay so now that that is done I'm just going to put back the screws and then uh, fit all the connectors back okay so we're going to power it up and uh, yeah we have a solid standby light and also the backlight um, is on so let's turn it around and um, yeah we have image on the TV so um, as um, you can see the TV is working perfectly fine now and um, this is going to be very applicable for other Vizio TVs it is always best to make sure that uh, you diagnose and uh, make sure you get to the right problem so that you can order the right path. Um, I do appreciate you staying with me uh, throughout the video. If you did enjoy the content, uh, please leave me a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, put it in the comments. Let me know how your repairs is going. And then until um, I come again with another Get Fix episode, uh, I wish you all the best in your repairs and stay safe.